Hey, gearheads. It's Jeff with Gear Report. It's Thursday. It's 9 Eastern time. That's on the East Coast, 9 p.m. That means it's time for this week at Gear Report, the show where we talk about everything that's been published since the show the same time last week, as well as things we have coming up, like we may talk about this. This is a new optic that arrived. I'll have to thank TJ for that when he gets here. I just got a text message from TJ that said, be there in a minute or something like that. Be there in a few. So TJ will be here shortly. Uh, and we do appreciate him for showing up. You know, what's kind of funny is um, <laughs> I see that we're live now and there are people showing up. I thought I had hit the start broadcast button. I did the countdown. I did the intro video. And then I did my standard introduction, what I just wrapped up. And I started talking about some comments that were out there already. And I'm like, wait a second. How come? Oh, and I adjusted the lights, which just turned off for some reason. All right. I'll turn that back on. And then it occurred to me. I was like, wait a second. I don't see the counter going. There's a counter that we see uh, on this end when the show is actually live. And I was not seeing the counter and it occurred to me that, uh, wait a second, uh, it wasn't actually broadcasting. So I started it over. Maybe I can get these lights to work more reliably here. There we go. Keep shutting off on me. So anyhow, let's get back to those comments I was talking about. So we had a yo from the president of TJ's fan club. That would be the gun snob. And a yo to you as well. And he wants everyone to know. That he's first, as always, which, you know, obviously, uh, first in our hearts, definitely. First, you know, when first for showing up, maybe you're not. First with hair, true story. Yeah. I mean, there's, check it out. There's hair right here. There's not much left up here anymore. But, you know, on the sides, there's, there's a little bit of hair for now. All right. So, Defense Dad, good to see you. Uh, thanks for uh, coming in and leaving a comment. We really appreciate that. When you leave comments, it feeds the algorithm on whatever platform you're on. I see people um, mostly coming in through YouTube, um, leaving comments. We appreciate that. Other things you can do, if you want to give us that thumbs up, that helps the algorithm as well. So it makes sure that other people may know that we are doing the show. Share it around if you know someone who would like it. They're not here. We appreciate that as well. But then we appreciate the comments, the interaction. Buck, it's good to see you again. Uh, oh, and look at that. Gun Snob agrees. And uh, everyone being super, super friendly. So we really appreciate that. All right. Let's get rid of that comment. Al Gore, I don't really know for certain, but that's what I hear. Everyone talks about the Al Gore rhythms, and uh, I mean, I can't say I really understand it. I can say that I hear about it enough that I kind of assume there's probably some truth to it, and I, I repeat that stuff. I'm guilty of maybe spreading false information. See, the fact checkers are going to come after me now because I've admitted that uh, I don't actually know if the algorithms are real or not. So now the, if I get fact-checked on this, I apologize. Ah, I got to stop hitting the screen here. All right. Oh, and I just had something I was going to show you guys. I forgot what it was. All right, we'll come back to that. I'm a little absent-minded here. I get rattled when TJ's not here to keep me pointed in the same direction or the right direction. So why don't we do this? Let's. Um, if you guys have anything you want to talk about, feel free to leave some comments. I've, I've noticed a bad habit of diving into the agenda and cutting off some discussion and people kind of fade out on me. So, um, so you know what, anything you want to talk about, go ahead and throw those in there. Oh, I know what it was. I was going to mention completely has nothing to do with what we do here. It's more of a shit shooting the the later portion of the show. I get my phone to unlock over here. I wanted to share with you, um, Cord over, get this flipped over. You probably can't see the guy here. And with the play button over his face, it's even harder. Uh, Dr. John Campbell, C A M P B E L L. If you have any interest in understanding the science and, and you know, medical stuff uh, surrounding the Rona and uh, 
uh, the potential treatments and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I, I have found him to be a, a pretty good YouTube channel. He's a physician out of the UK that does a lot of analysis of different uh, reports and studies and puts a lot of good data out there. So uh, I'm a big fan of being more informed by people who are smarter than me so that I understand things before I make decisions about them. And I have found his channel to be pretty good for that. So a couple other good ones. If, if anyone's interested, I can share those as well. But, uh, you know, I think we probably come here to get away from the Rona talk. So maybe maybe we'll skip that a little bit and dive in to some of our weekly agenda items. So, um, oh, and TJ is going to join us here, it looks like. He can uh, he can add himself to the stream whenever he's ready because he has the power to do that. One one of the very few people on this. Oh, and I did. One of the Bam. very few people on this planet who are actually uh, have been given the power to start a stream for Gear Report, add themselves to an existing stream, whatever. You know, I'm trying to change the camera angle so I'm not like way up here looking down at you. I there appreciate it. Is that a little better? So now we get the weird shadows up on the wall, but th yeah. that's okay. I think it kind of looks like a little devil horns halo thing on the wall up above me, which is kind of cool. Awesome. Oh, if I get this just right, it kind of looks, oh, there, my mohawk's coming in really well. There it is. There yeah. it is. Yeah, if I, if I make it bigger, it'll be like a frohawk. That's what I'm really going for is a frohawk. But it's not I'll, about time TJ gets here. Listen, Snob, I have... Adult kickball league. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you say that with a semi-straight face. That, that's that's because I can. Because I do. Because I do. <laughs> because you can. It's hey, if there was an adult kickball league here, I probably wouldn't be in it. But there's a off chance I would. Who knows? Uh, let's see. I come here to get away from my wife. Yeah. She has celebrated that, I think, before. <laughs> Here in the comments of this show. Yeah. Whatever. You, you, you do you for, for both of you. Whatever, whatever makes your marriage work, that's fine. Uh, it's just about time TJ gets you. Okay. So um, let's dive in real quick to recently completed reviews. TJ, do you want to lead this off or do you want to play cleanup? We've only got two. Oh, well, then listen, I'll lead it off. I'll start this thing up. All right. I had two games. I had two games of kickball. Somebody else needed me for another another game. So you're like a free agent. You're an adult kickball free agent. They, they, yeah, they headhunt for me because I'm like good, apparently. Well, huh? who thunk it? Oh, I love this thing. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. Where are we at? Hold on. I'm, I'm trying to pull it up on my screen over here. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you read well, but then you'll oh, you be get it up on you get up on the screen. All right, perfect. Yeah, I can make it bigger if you want, so people can yeah, see it's easier. Yeah. It's the uh, the seven arms AR fifteen nine uh, millimeter Glock adapter block, and it that that thing. I mean, it works, and and that that was my goal was to to do this was set up a, just a badass AR lower, and then if I want to shoot nine millimeter, I can shoot nine millimeter. Yeah. There it is. Six, six clock max. I mean, it was, it was like it's probably the easiest thing I've ever installed. It was a screw, push the mag release, slide it in, put the screw in, done. Wow. So, yeah, that, that sounds up. pretty good. Uh, yeah, you, put it you, in say, the, uh, you you name nine millimeter specifically. Is it actually just nine millimeter, or is yep. it like whatever? Like you yeah, couldn't clock. use a similar size clock mag. No, nine millimeter Glock mags. Oh, sorry, I pulled my quad. Mm. I'm, I'm yeah, getting older, but, Jeff. But your your contract's up for renew here pretty soon, I think. So. <laughs> you, you, head you know, they're like, they're like, you can come play for our team. I'm like, eh. Crystal may kill me. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. There must be a different context for that in kickball because when I played hockey, head hunting was something else. I know. Um, yeah, kickball's not as bad. If you hit them in the head, they get like a free base. They're <laughs> they're safe and they get a free base. I'm like, but what the hell's up with that? So, but do do you really um, 
What is going on over there? My main computer just rebooted. Oh, I bet it's installing Windows 11. If anyone knows if that's a good or bad thing, let me know. <laughs> I've been putting it off, working on updates, 20-something percent complete. All right, well, that's a little scary because I don't remember telling it it could do that, but apparently it's doing it. It's listen, right. they get to do what they want, Jeff. But yeah, this thing, uh, like I said, I put it in the um, I put it in the Spikes Tactical, the uh, the little AR pistol I had. Mm -hmm. I put it down to an Anderson lower I had sitting around, and it it worked. Took it to the range, you know, fed 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 the mags good. It doesn't have the last round bolt hole open, but mm. you know, most of my uppers don't, except for my um, my Fox Shot mic. So, mm -hmm. so cool. it's, it's the way it works. But it, yeah. Work great, man. I'm I'm excited about it. That's one of one of the things I've been looking forward to for probably a couple of years now. Really? Yeah. So well, you always tell me that worked out. You, you always tell me, don't buy anything. Just wait. Dude, man, it is so hard to break in new writers <laughs> and help them understand that you don't have to go out and buy stuff that people, you know, brands actually like that's why we exist, so they can send stuff so we can read. Oh, yeah. It. I think it's. I think it's going to go. I think it's going to be featured in a, a couple other reviews again too. So, yeah, that's that's good. They'll be happy about that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, I've got like fifteen AR builds lying around the house, so I'll, I'll throw in something else and use it. I'm so proud of you. There was a time not too long ago where you had zero AR builds. I remember yeah. you, you showed me. You're like, this is how you do it. I'm like, God, that's so easy. Boom. I was like, dude, I can do it. If I can do it, anyone can do it. <laughs> And now I can do it, which is even worse. Yeah, or maybe I don't know. Mm. Uh, yes, Mystic Guns, we were talking about you, actually. Yeah, we were. Yeah. I'll see all that. I'll see. Here. I will see everybody tomorrow. I'm excited. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, including Mystic Guns, Stacy will be there. It's going to be a big day. They live there, so it'll be like the TJ fan club assembling. <laughs> I was going to find out where they live and show up at their pictures. house. Yeah, I wouldn't show up at, at any at anyone who has guns in their name. I wouldn't just show up at their house. I'd be sure they know you're coming and like it's okay. Yeah, you know, true. Yeah, I mean, you're warning them now, but I'd still like call from the end of the driveway. Yeah. Like, hey, I'm here. Is it safe? You know? <laughs> like, hey, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, boom. Uh, L Buck's going to be there. Yeah, everybody's going to be there, dude. It's a it's Absolutely. a big day. I get there tomorrow at like noon, so I'm going straight to the casino. <laughs> I, I I'm not even going to read that one. <laughs> <laughs> Buck's got jokes. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, Buck, <laughs> come on. If if you've ever gone to an event with Jeff. Oh my goodness! You would know. Yeah, Jeff strictly cash, hundreds phew, all over the place. Credit right. card, come on, making it rain, making it rain. <laughs> Where are you staying at? So apparently, Snob hasn't told her that you're staying at their house. Yeah, I'm staying at the uh, the Casa de Snob. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So anyhow. Yeah, so we're we're going to get to that. Yeah, that's that's um, in the other part of the show. It it is, and you know what? But we can talk about it now. Whatever. Yep. Why don't we do that? Why don't, why sure. don't we do that? Let's put it up there. Put it up there, Jeff. I want to blow the momentum. I've been known to mess a show up before. Um, let's see. boom. I got you, buddy. Oh, what what am I looking at? Shit shooting. Oh, that isn't what I was looking for. Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Wanamaker Gun Show. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, uh, yeah. Wanamaker's Tulsa Arms Show. So now I got to get back to the screen sharing page. Because I think we were done with that adapter. It is pretty cool. Yeah. I'm excited that uh, I'm excited that there wasn't much to talk about because it was so easy. You know? Dude, it was. I mean, and like I said, I was like, what, what else are you gonna do this thing? So I threw it. I threw in that that spikes tactical, and I was like, "All right." Yeah. And I threw it in the uh, the the Anderson lower that I have sitting around. I was like, "Okay." And yep. I was like, "I threw in a, a 
arrow precision. I'm like, okay. Rocking the poverty pony. I like it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right. See, I See shouldn't have shown this on the screen because now when something goes down, th this right is going to be like evidence. But maybe they showed this in court <laughs> and then your report makes the big time, you know? Maybe. Because it was brought up on, you know, court proceedings that are nationally publicized. I walk up and I, I give Snob my La Quinta uh, room key. But here you go, buddy. <laughs> See you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. So Wanamaker's Tulsa Arms Show. I don't know anything about this personally. She's laughing with us, not not laughing with you, not at you. Okay, as far as you know. Um, as far as I know. So anyhow, what I hear because this is one that uh, that Clover talks about a lot. Yep. Is um, it's like everyone out there knows about the Wanamaker Tulsa Arms Show. It's the world's largest gun show. I had never heard of it, to be honest with you, until they <laughs> talked about it. I mean, they've been doing it for 65 years, it says. For more than 4,200 tables. That's kind of crazy. That's a lot of tables. That's like almost half of SHOT Show. I'm excited. I mean, it looks like a lot of walking. Yeah, it does. Uh, oh, Bob's Guns is there. That's, that's good. You never get enough of Bob's Guns. Speaking of a lot of walking... All right, this isn't what I was looking for. That is a map to get there. I thought I was going to show maybe a map of. It was going to draw me off, the off over there somewhere. I'm I'm getting the impression that this is uh, th this website's giving me flashbacks to like the late uh, or, or maybe mid '90s, and uh, I was looking for some sort of map of the facility. And they and haven't I'm changed it since then, Jeff. They, well, apparently it hadn't been updated since 2014. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I was going to you know, maybe give you a tour of the facility, a guided tour of the facility. Oh, I'll find it out. Know, I'm gonna, like I, said, I, think, I think everybody's going to be there. So I, I'm, somebody can show, point me in the right direction. Almost six miles of exhibits. That's a lot of guns and knives. An 11-acre building. Whew, man. Oh, they have swords. Oh, uh, man. That's it. I've, you need a sword, Jeff? You want to start doing sword stuff? I have actually um, <laughs> I, I've actually uh, not done some sword stuff. Like, I, I've had several opportunities where they were available on Vine, and I was like, eh, do I really want to do a sword? I can we do a sword, and can we cut a guitar with it? We could. I know. I know. There's one there that. Yeah. You've got to just be. There's a. I, I have a disposable guitar, like so bad that it's not worth trying to fix. Oh yeah. And, and I kind of feel bad that the manufacturer had a replacement sent to their home office in the UK, and then they overnighted it to me, and I opened it and looked at it, and it it had a problem. Like it wasn't right. Even Already. after doing that, it wasn't right. And I haven't taken the time to fix it. It's I just I have to get some super glue and put a drop of glue under the a part up at the top, hold it in place for a couple seconds. That's the repair. Yeah. And I haven't it, I, honestly I'm out of super yeah. glue. And <laughs> it hadn't been worth the trouble. And I, and I hate to say that. I mean, it makes it sound like, you know, I disrespect in brands. I don't care. But this was an Amazon review. I've already met my commitment for that review. They sent the replacement. I didn't ask for it. They just sent it. And um, and I didn't commit to do a review on this one. But I did. I showed it on the show when it came in. And I thought, well, okay, if they redeem themselves on this one, then I will update my Amazon review with, you know, here's what happened with the first one. They sent a, another one and here's how it was. But this one's got a problem too. And I'm like, do I write that they sent another one that had a problem? You know, right. <laughs> did, like, eh. it's probably better if I just ignore it. And at some yep. point I will find another tube of uh, crazy glue and I will fix the piece that's loose. And then I'll try it and I'll update the review. But there you go. 
it's it's just not at the top of my list right now because you know they send me stuff that requires work it's like seriously <laughs> I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you a broken product. All right, right perfect. Right, I'll fix it's it. Me something I have to fix in order to <laughs> review it, and and then you know expect me to jump on it right away. Yeah, yeah. probably not gonna happen. All right. All right. Oh, they got hotels. Look at that. Lots of hotels. I don't see the oh, yeah. La Quinta listed here. We're outside. We're outside of Tulsa. Oh. Gotcha. Okay. I I was hoping there'd be something in here to really talk about, but unfortunately their website has left me. Uh, it's left me wanting. So bad on them. For that. That's why right there. See? Yeah. Yeah. Imagine how big the show would be if they had a reasonable website. I, I see what's a pretty big show. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, what, what's your goal for the show? Um, really, I just want to experience it and, and check it out. I mean, um, if, I mean, if there's some brands there, I'll go, you know, talk stuff with them. But, uh, you know, my, uh, as far as goals, I've got a couple of people that want some specific guns and I'm going to go look for those and then, uh, check everything else out. Just see it. I mean, you know, it's, it's a big show. I mean, it's, you know, are you looking to buy show. some stuff? Uh, maybe I've got a couple stacks with me. But well, you always have stacks with you. It could go bad. You're you're like a baller, you know. Everywhere you go, it's like you got all this money with you, and I'm like, how the hell does he do this? I, I did. I work. Oh yeah, yeah. I knew. I that. work. I work, and I plan. Like if I'm going up, you know how I am. If I'm going on vacation, I'm going on vacation. This will like, work. I'm not. Right? If we're all, if we all eat out somewhere, I'm having steaks. I'm having you know scallops. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat well. So if you tell people what it is you're looking for, we got a bunch of people in the chat here that are going to be at the show. If they see what you're looking for, I'm sure that they'll send you a note. Yeah. And depending on who it is, like Clover will probably say, hey, if you go to row five, table number seven, talk to Jimmy. He's got something back behind the counter hidden for waiting for you to get there. Or right. you'll get a note from snob that'll say haha suck up with a picture of him holding it with I a paper bought it. Yep. yep if you want it it's now a hundred dollars more i'll be like Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah i'm just saying i'm not going to tell him what i'm looking for that's that's the key like i have a list it's on my phone so ah they're not tech savvy that's where we come in as media i get it yeah so, yeah. um, and you know, it's a really good point because we've been to some industry events where they have like their own professional crew walking around and when they show up, it's like every, they expect all the other media to back off and let them film stuff. And I've said before to the people running the shows, like, why are you doing this? You know, br bringing in, you're bringing in higher guns, but like we paid to come here. You're paying right. these people to be here. We're all but, filming uh, the same stuff. Like, come on. Yeah, a couple of smaller ones did that too. Yeah, but it sounds like they, they are not going to compete with you here at this show. So you are you guys will be the big dogs. You'll be doing yeah. everything for them. I might bring my gimbal. You can find super glue just about anywhere. Um, I've looked all over my house, and I did find one tube, but it was uh, it was crunchy. The whole thing, it had uh, Ooh, gotten crunchy super glue. in it. Yeah. It wasn't so super good. anymore. I think it was just glue at that point. Shame they don't have Dollar Generals. Ah, uh, but they do. But guess what? They also have mask mandates. And Dollar Generals are run by a, a Nazi general, I think, that makes you wear a mask to go in the store. So I don't go. Not down here. Although I did wear a mask today. I uh, I I have a pretty firm... I'm done with masks, not wearing them anymore. But right. one of my kids had a doctor's appointment that oh, we've been doctors. waiting. We've been waiting for six months for this referral to get the appointment. And when when Rona went through our house a, uh, a month ago, um, it went through a week before the appointment. So they were like, "Oh, nope, you can't come," and they had to reschedule. So I was like, "You know what? We we've been waiting so long for this very important appointment." 
I will wear the face diaper for an hour if I have to, to take care of my kid. But right. But that's about it. Yep. See before when mystic was laughing, she was laughing with you this time. Buck is laughing at Snob. There's an important distinction there. Yes. All right. Monty wants to know how Monty, we're that's, doing. That's Crystal's brother right there, Monty. No way. He's doing a he's doing a, a, a three gun shoot or a pistol shoot on Sunday. So I'm going to go try to check him out over there. He's coming over that way. Really? That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a it's like a win win. Yeah. I'm not going to heckle him unless he does bad. Then I'm going to heckle him. No pressure, Monty. Just saying. Uh, you know, uh, taking something on the plane really isn't a big deal if you do it properly. And uh, it may mean you have to get a case and a lock to put on it and check it separately, follow all the procedures for checking it. But my understanding is you can still run into drama depending on where you're going. Oh, yeah. With the TSA people. Because TSA people, you never know. It's. Um, uh, I think it's hit and miss with them. They can... Say, oh, it's no problem. You did you did what you're supposed to, or they can be like, oh my god, I got uh. right, right. Oh, oh, you did it now, Jeff. All right, what did I say wrong that he's going to show up and correct me? You did it now. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what you said. <laughs> we had a uh, we had a guy come down from Connecticut. Um, oh. he makes um, actually he made he's made quite a few shows. I haven't seen him in a while. Hopefully, we see him. Uh, Again, one of these days, but he bought like five or six guns one year hmm. and had to fly back with them. So we had to run around and find cases to buy. Yeah. And, um, you know, by the time he done all that, he's like, I don't know how good a deal this was. Cause <laughs> I had to, and he had them like double stacked in the cases and all kinds of yeah. crazy stuff. It was wild. I would think that shipping them might be the thing to do at that point. I mean, yeah. you, have, you have to deal with FFL. On, I would, I would probably end. just ship them. I mean, if I if I found something I wanted or somebody I needed, you know, somebody I knew wanted something, I would just ship it and yep. just get it straight shipped to uh, yeah. Beachside Pond, my people. Yeah. Yeah, Ooh. or you could, um, you know, depending on what they wanted to charge or if they didn't want to mess with it or whatever, you've got people there, right, that could ship it for you. Right. Well, that's, what I was that, thinking. Yeah, that's a good point. How how many of the boots do you think if you said, hey, I'm from out of town, here's my FFL information, can I pay for it and pay for shipping? And you just, when you get back after the show, ship it to me. Well, if it was a, I think that's a, no, a deal breaker on two accounts. Because I think if you said that at a private booth, right, somebody that's not a dealer, uh -huh. um, they're probably not going to want to sell to you at that point. Right. And then, uh, and then, especially when you've got extra work for them, right? So uh, now, well, yeah, dealer, right? Like money. in the in the sense of a handgun, which has to be, of course. Uh, well, a handgun you can't buy if you're out of state, right? Correct. Like I, I have bought handguns in other states. You can, but they had they have to ship them to your FFL in your state. Well, well I've taken possession of them there. But I had to show them the FFL that I'm on. Oh, yeah, but you're on an FFL. And yeah. do an FFL to FFL transfer. Uh -huh. But that's something that I wouldn't have thought of. You know, that that's one of those things that, that I didn't know that I kind of learned about later. And it, it had just never come up. But I... It had never crossed my mind that I could be traveling somewhere. Like I could be down at TJ's and we go to the pawn shop. And I'm like, oh, there's a Deagle. And <laughs> I just have to have it. And they'd be like, but you don't live in Florida. So we're not allowed to sell it to you. I'd be like, wait, what? What, what do you mean you can't? Like you can sell it to me, but you got to ship it to an yep. FFL in North Carolina. But you can't just sell it to me and let me have it. I mean, just do the background check. You know right. that that would never would have crossed pistols, my mind. Pistols, they're not pistols, well, they do don't that. do that way. But uh, I mean, like long guns are fine. Right. So any, any long gun you're fine with, but pistols they won't. Uh, they have to. Yeah, they have to. If you're out of state, you have to either ship it somewhere. Well, what sucked is one of the long guns I bought last time. Um, one of them was you know private sale was no was no issue. Then other was a an FFL and. 
So had to fill out to 4473 and go through the background and everything else. I hadn't had a, I haven't had a background in 20 years or something <laughs> and um, had to do all of that because my Texas license, of course, not good for Oklahoma. It's skipping the, skipping the check. So that sucked. I had to, you know, it wasn't a huge deal, but there was a big, huge line. First of all, the people waiting on their background checks and everything else. So what he did is he just took my money, put my name on it. Uh, and then he said, just come back later, you know, whatever. Cause we were there all day, right. Or all weekend. And, uh, I just went back a couple hours later and picked it up basically. Cause I, I mean, I knew there wasn't going to be a problem because I had the, you know what I'm saying? I had the license, so, uh, wasn't going to be an issue, but it was a hassle. I'm sensing a theme in the comments here. <laughs> Uh, so here's the deal, snob. You will, you, you, and uh, Mystic will get this. I'm not sure everyone else will really get it to quite the same level, but I haven't seen it on Vine yet. So, wh when it's on Amazon Vine, available to review, and I don't have to pay for it, I'll be all <laughs> over that uh, glue. But until You're then, happy. I'm like, because you know what's going to happen? I'm going to go make a special trip. And we have to deal with the with the the mask holes at Dollar General or wherever. And then the next day it'll pop up on Vine in my recommended yep. items. And I'll be like, son of a bitch. It was right there. Yeah, but it'll, it'll be a pack of like 20 of them. So then you're you're good for a while. Yeah. Yeah, then I'll have I'll have like 19 crunchy packs of super glue. <laughs> yeah. And uh you and know down the road you'll be like, one, one of these is gonna be good. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. Cool. Yeah, I've wanted to do just some of the different shooting competitions. And you know why I haven't done it is that um, I'm too competitive. Like, I don't want to do it unless I'm going to whoop so, some ass. So what and, you're saying is you don't do it for fear of suckage. Well, I know I would because I, I want to dominate if I'm going to do it. If I'm not going to dominate, I don't want to just go half-ass it. I, you know, I if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right, and I don't have time to do it right. So yeah, that's I'm why. That's why it. I do it exactly. Yeah, you do it so you can dominate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the only real reason to do it. I think. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, or for the I'm, I'm going to go with. Uh, I'm going to start getting uh, competing against ghosts with the long range stuff. I think. Mm. There you go. Because okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of the long range shooting. Yeah. yeah, so I figured that Tulsa wouldn't be the issue. But no. Orlando, I don't know how they would be. Just the airport. Well, right, but that's just the place where you get your gun back, you know? <laughs> right, but I mean, the airports are just, uh, they're all like that. I don't, I don't know, if, if, if I get in Tulsa Airport and I don't have to wear a mask, awesome. But odds are, I'm probably going to have to wear a mask in the airport. I think it's a federal thing, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think so. <laughs> so apparently Clover has a reputation for, for being a 22 advocate. Awesome. Which, yeah, there's, I like it. That's good. There's nothing, there's nothing cheaper to shoot right there. It's a long yeah. gun. You can mail it to yourself. Yeah, I used to know the rules on all of that, but uh, I let my... I let my collector FFL expire when I got on a real FFL. I say real. They're all real. But, you know, I got on a, a manufacturer and retail FFL. So I let my collector FFL expire. But just back in the, the back then, I knew all the rules on all that stuff. I just, I don't really pay attention to it now. Stupid rules. Hope the price has come down. What are you guys expecting? Is it going to be, are there going to be good deals? Um, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be stuff. deals out there. I mean, there's, there's always a deal somewhere. Somebody's, you know, it's, yeah. I guess it, it depends on what somebody wants for something. Well, that's part of the fun. I hear, I always hear people, that, who, whose chat was it? Was that Gizzard's chat the other night? I feel like I'm, I'm deja vu here, but you know, I've been kind of like Snob said, he's been attending that show since he was in a stroller. You know, I can remember easily being teen, a teenager at, you know, going to gun shows. So for what, 30 years, 30 plus years now, um, I can remember people complaining about prices at gun shows. So nothing new, <laughs> absolutely nothing new. So the, but the thing is, you've got the people that 
are dissuaded by the high prices. And then you got the people that make it a mission to look for and find the deals hidden behind the, you know, three racks deep behind there under a box somewhere or whatever, right? Yeah. At the bottom mm -hmm. of a box. Uh, there are deals all the time at any gun show you go to. Uh, it's just, are you open to that particular firearm or ammunition or holster or whatever the deal yes. might be on, right? Are you open to that? And a lot of people aren't. They only want their striker fired polymer pistols or they only want their AR 15s or their AKs or whatever. And that's fine. But you've got to be open to, the, to those deals, right? And you've got to yeah. be actively looking for those deals. And if those two things come together, um, that's part of the fun of especially a big show like yeah. Wanna make it? Mean, you're I'm going to. You're going to run across stuff. I bought the the. I bought two rifles, and one of them I bought within the last hour of the last day. Uh, and I'd walk past that table. I don't know how many times it wasn't. It was about three rows over, maybe, from our table, our media table. And don't tell how many times I walked past it and never seen that rifle. Uh, and people were starting to box up and gather up and pack up and do all of that. And was walking back to the table and happened to look over, and my eyes landed right on it. And, uh, walked up to the table and bought it. It was a, a great deal on a nice little twenty two rifle. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Something, something a little, a little bit different. I don't have any, like I don't have any lever, lever actions. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't have, like I don't have an over under shotgun, stuff like that. Like you know, just something that I'm looking for that I don't have. That's what I'm going to. Well, are you wanting to go larger bore with a lever action, or are you? Want oh to yeah. Try to find I'm a little twenty two or I'm something. A, or? No, I'm a big guy. I want, I want like you know, forty five, seventy. You know. 44, 44, something big. 45, 70 is going to be, I can almost tell you right now, 45, 70, obviously 30, 30, but um, yeah. 45, 70 um, in, in something other than a 30, 30, 45, 70 is probably going to be the next cheapest, I would say. And, yeah. you know, the, the 357s yeah. and the 44s probably going to be more, more pricey. They yeah. typically are for some reason. That's I, like, I like the off calibers. I can find 45, 70 down here, so I'm fine. Um, yeah. you know, as long as I can find ammo for it, I'm fine with it, stuff like that, you know, and then like a 460 revolver, you know, Smith and Wesson 460 or something like that. Huh. Make, make your list and oh, you'll have life. your phone will be blowing up with people. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I found it here. Bring, bring $400 over here. Quick. <laughs> i have to keep Chris on my wallet. That's the key. Yeah, it is. So I brought her with me. Oh, that's it's right. It's going to be a whole different trip now. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you'll have to let us know after the trip whether this was a uh, an exercise in, oh, my God, this is the only way I'm traveling, or what was I thinking? Or something <laughs> in between. Who knows? Traveling is fun. Like I said, I like, I like traveling with Crystal. I like hanging out with her. But as far as like what – usually when I go to gun stuff – that's, mm -hmm. that's my vacation time. Like it's my yeah. time away. You know, we get to hang out. I get to do fun stuff. I don't have to listen to like, I'm bored. I'm tired. I'm tired <laughs> of walking. Well, she will yeah. have, she will have, see my wife went with me um, to uh, USCCA and the Amcon stuff, right? Fort Worth here a yeah. couple, couple months back, whatever. And I'm not going to lie. That was a fairly horrible trip. Uh, for it wasn't the greatest for me, right? Um, and it certainly wasn't for her. I, mean, I know for I know it absolutely was. There was really not that many people around uh, at all. I mean, that was a very small show. It was surprising. Uh, I'm not in super good with the the whole two A crew around revolving around Amcon and stuff. Uh, not in super tight with those. It was just it wasn't. It wasn't a shot show. It wasn't an NRA where, you know, all of us, like Tulsa's going to be, right, where there's a lot of folks there that we know. So, yeah. um, and for her, it was, again, it was even worse, right? So I, I understand where you're coming from, but this might be with Stacy there, with my wife there. Yeah. It might be a little different situation, and it might open the door for, you know, those to go more often. And it's one of them things to where – I think you call that par parallel play, right? Where you're kind of in the same place at the same time, but not necessarily doing the same thing. Yeah. Uh, but then you've got access, like when we go out to eat or where we're hanging out, you know, uh, after the show, we're in the smoking area or whatever, you know, that type of thing, right? So you still yeah. got access. You're still around, you know, that sort of thing. You're not miles and miles apart. I prefer to be miles and miles apart. I mean, a little bit. <laughs> 
I don't know if they even have a presence on Facebook. I searched for the Wanamaker Gun Show, Tulsa, Oklahoma. You can and search I some really interesting pictures here. You could search some different hashtags we've used over the years. Uh, uh, hashtag, what is it? Tulsa Show 416, I think, hmm. was uh, April. Uh, that was Instagram, of course. But yeah. Um, yeah, we use a, uh, and we'll go over all that as I pass out media passes, but uh, we go over that uh, every year, the hashtags we use for our content and stuff. That way it's a little more trackable because yeah. we've never been asked to kind of give a report, but a few months after we go, I always try to send an email over and say, hey, here's you know some links to some different things. Here's some different hashtags we use, blah, blah, blah. Uh, to let, just let them know that we are putting in the work there. They're sure. not uh, giving us something for nothing, so to speak. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, it looks like it's going to be fun. So I'm jealous. Uh, while you guys are there, I'm going to be shuttling one of my kids to swim meets well, or to a swim meet multiple times. That's important, too, though. It is. While my wife is vacationing with her friends in the mountains. so. Uh, so, party gear report. Here we uh, go. Gear report HQ is going viral. Is yeah, that's true. I did. I, it. Uh, I, I, well, you know, I've been amassing a stockpile of uh, guitar stuff. We know. And uh, I can't really turn it up when there's people in the house, but, you know, when one kid's at a swim meet oh, and the other came at- out. It were it basically sky. It's going to be like, hey, sorry, it's going to get loud for a while, but uh, at least the, the rest of them won't be in the house to hear that. You're going to rock out, rock out with your out. I know. Yep. It's awesome. Pretty much. Especially if I can get her out of the house, then it'll just be me here. Yep. Three Fly years. Rich. Always, always here with the appropriate number of yos. I like yep. that. Yep, three yos. I think that's, that is the appropriate number. Yo, yo, yo. All right. What's, the, what's, the, what's the other? Uh, we have another review. Go what's the other one? There. Yeah, we'll get to it. Gun okay. prices are not bad. It's an ammo. Yeah, I think we saw that one. Six figures. Yeah, I think... Oh, yeah. I think that's out of my budget. I don't know about TJ. TJ rolls pretty, pretty, pretty steep. We'll see. He goes to There's the a casino there. involved. It can go either way. List of guns for sale. Interesting. There's a casino. All right. Hmm. It is a shame that no one has a video that we mm-hmm. could show for that. Right. All yeah. Right. Everyone's fairly quick, a fairly quick, concise morning. video, too, if I, if I recall. <laughs> nice, nice. All right. We don't want to talk about that because, uh, I mean, unless it is it someone who's on or someone in the chat. I don't know. I don't know if he's talking about one he did or mine. Okay. So, but you have one, it sounds like. So, if mm-hmm. anyone wants to see, you can go look at the Clover Tech channel and. Gun Snob can play. Actually, he can't put a link in, probably, because I haven't enabled that for people. All of the snake guns. What does that mean? The Colts. Oh, There's okay. a guy that has an amazing Colt snake gun collection. Hmm. And they're they're for sale if you've got the right kind of money. Right. Snake it's guns, that's like money. the Python and the Anaconda and whatever else, mm-hmm. that kind of thing. Yeah, right. Yep. Yeah, every single variation of you know, whatever barrel length finish. The seven inch, the six number of inch, number of number of inch. number of screws, the types of grips. I mean, <laughs> it's insane. To, he's a yeah. If he hasn't written a book about him, he probably should. Yeah, neat. All right. Well, you guys have fun at that show, and uh, keep TJ either on camera or out of trouble. I don't really care which one, but um, it'll, it'll be on camera. You can you can do things if it, as long as we get video of it, so we can use that to. I'm burning the speedo. 
Just seeing, you know, just saying. <laughs> Thinking it's not Florida. And uh, it's an indoor swimming pool. Yep, indoor pool. Indoor pool. Oh, Jeff. you mean for the, not for the show? I got you. I was going to say walking I mean, around I don't care if it's the, the show, show. Indoor pool. Yeah. At the show in the American flag speedo, I think you would get a mixed reaction. Really, it, I do with the cruise ships when I go on cruise. When I used to, when I used to cruise, when I was allowed to cruise, it was yeah. like the the party people were like, "Yes," and then the other people were like, "Oh my god!" I'm like, "Listen, I will pull this thing off right now if you don't get out of here." <laughs> off they go. Effective. It is it a works. solid tactic. I think it would be a little chilly. Yeah, so then you get into the whole Costanza effect, and we you don't want to go there, right? I'm not worried about that. It was it just put me into the normal level. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there went those rails. <laughs> yep, off the rails again. Okay, awesome. with that, with that, we're going to move on to the other article. If what I else do we have? It. What else do we have? Go Come over on. here. Let me go over to the gearreport.com website and see what we got. There it is. Had to find it. They had too many links open, believe it or way not. Faster because my my so, my computer is still loading. Is it is it a is it a guitar? It is. And it's uh it's one that uh I wrote like a month and a half ago and had it almost done and just never hit the publish button. And then I had a little uh, downtime when there wasn't anything in the queue, and I said, All right, publish been sitting on there this one for for a lull so i put it out there it's a neat little chinese copy of a kind of expensive custom fender guitar and in this one i think they were selling them for like 150 bucks when they when they came out um maybe a little bad. bit more now they haven't made them in a while i don't know if they're gonna make them again but uh pretty cool little guitar if you're into that kind of thing you can go read about it um based off of like uh, a Fender thin line semi hollow telecaster um, with lots of pictures and all that jazz. Okay. Pictures are yeah. pictures are awesome as always. Look at that. Look at the well, pictures. Uh, I, I'm not thrilled with how um, it, it, just the pictures themselves. I think I'm okay at taking product pictures, but the way. Um, WordPress displays them yeah, because there's, there's so the many pictures. In there together, though. It makes them a little uh, it makes them a little blurry. So some of these don't look yep. too bad, but some of the detail shots you can actually see are a little blurry. If you click on them, then it in, it it should. I'm going to try that. Let me find a blurry one up here. Uh, it should open like that one's a little blurry, a little fuzzy looking. So you do get a bigger version that's clearer, but it downgrades it so it'll load quickly on the main page and I, I that's a little annoying sometimes but anyhow trying to keep the guitar content flowing uh as well as uh all the content we, we want to service all of the areas that gear report covers which is a lot so uh anyhow all right we back on the main screen we are good someone is conceded Spelled as if it meant someone gave up. Well, I don't give up. But you you conceded. You anyway. gave up. Yes, ma'am. Yep. Um, he may also be conceded, conceited as well. We don't know. Uh, I thought this beer report. We could do a beer report. We should do that. TJ, you're up. Beer report. Beer report? Yeah. We are drinking the mango cart from Golden Road Brewery in California, unfortunately. Go. But it is so delicious that um, wow, I've, I've had quite a few of them today. Two kickball games, three games. <laughs> We're probably looking at about 14, 15 of them. Got to get up at 2 in the morning to go to the airport for Wanamaker's. So, but it is wow. delicious. A little, a little bit of mango. Very refreshing. Better on draft. Back there, yeah. Hold on, yeah. That's on. Oh, draft. you got you got like a little wooden keg beside it too. What's that? 
That is a uh, you put bourbon there, and it, it's an oak. It's an oak keg, and it's supposed to age mm. the bourbon better. Interesting. We'll find out in about a month or so. I'm just, I just put a bunch of bourbon in there. We'll find out. I see. A lot of my stuff is alcohol based. I've learned. Like, wow, I might have an issue. You might. Instead of gears, apparently it's cans now. Sweet. How many? How many for for mango cart? Um, I give it like three and a half cans. It's, yeah. it's a half a can loss because it's in California, but yeah, California. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the Would only they, thing. That's, other than that, it's four cans. But they could they could get that half a point back if they toss some sponsorship money in. I'm just saying. They would I, I, dude? I sent them a DM. I was yeah. like, listen. I mean, not that we don't have credibility or anything, <laughs> but I mean, as long as you disclose, hey, we gave them an extra half point because they sponsored us. I'm gonna, gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. You know what? I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna do a review on them. Yeah, let's go back to this one. There you go. I like All that right. one. Hold on, let me get back centered. Yeah, you had someone shady in the background off on the I side. Know, so I was so like, yeah. chicks pester me. Like, I'm gonna, we got a pack. We have to like leave at two in the morning. Like, blah blah yep. blah. And you're packing already. I don't start. Yes, we do. I don't even start packing until like what? You got to leave at two. About one thirty, I'll be like. Oh damn! I should probably pack. We're pretty much there. Wow! Pretty I'm, much I'm working on it. It's on my list. I kickball priorities, I man. I hear you. All right, so that covered that covered the recently completed reviews. Stuff that will be published soon. Uh, are you do you are are you going to commit to any content? Either one of you guys are you committing to any content from this event this weekend? It'll be yeah. I'll have, I'll have a bunch of videos and some shorts and stuff like that. I'll I'll probably record them and then either I'll post them at night when I get to Wi Fi or I'll send them to you or something. We'll I mean I'll have a bunch of stuff. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Cool. I'm sure Clover will as well. No, I just set it all up at this point, and uh, and uh, what do they call it? Uh, administrate or uh, what? Is, whatever, delegate. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That's my yeah, role. Yeah. That's my <laughs> role. Cool. Delegate, dictate. You know, whatever. You get the yeah. yeah. Put some footage on there. Like, all right, don't talk about <laughs> well, it. Right. I'll yeah. do it. Okay, so what uh, what other stuff you have coming? Anything you want to show the peoples, TJ, that you have in the queue? In the queue, I've got I've got so much stuff. I just it's so close, but I'm I'm bailing out this weekend, so it's really everything yeah. else is on hold. So I I've seen a bunch of drafts that you have yeah uh, already started in WordPress. So I know there's stuff coming. I got the uh, the RMT trigger. I've got the uh, what is it the uh, primary arms um, little red dot. Mm -hmm. Plus the it, thousands of other things I have in there. Yeah. I just don't have, like I said, I just don't have time. The Taurus Raging Hunter, I'm so close on that. I just got to, I need a little bit more time. But like I said, I just got to, with this weekend, I'm like, meh, I'll wait till Tuesday. You just got to make it happen, Captain. I, I'm going out of town. I can't do it. I mean, You're if I can bring it with me, I would. Yeah. But I can't. Mm, you shouldn't say that because technically you probably could. Yeah. So, um, all right, I'll, I'll show you guys something that came in. Uh, all right, it goes Plus the old way. Diamondback sidekick. I shot that the other day again. Yeah. This nope. Oh. Viking culture. I, I like think that. that's I an improvement if I put that face thing in front of me. I, just hope, I hope it's a sword or something. No, so I was like, what in the world is this? Because you, it, it's bolted together. It had like these two little screws. It's like a... a two little L-shaped brackets. You back them up together, put the screws through them. And then there's a little screw hole here. Where is it? You put that screw through. So right. I'll show you what it's for. Here's the instructions. It is a template. You screw it in and then you put a marker in each of the different holes and make circles to make a target. Now, what in the world could you need to make your own target? Like where you screw it in and run run this with these big holes an around X, to do an something. X target. Oh man, you you would think I had like 
clued you in on what this was about. No, 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 because I've, I've been axe throwing several times. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. I'm like, oh yeah, I do. I do kind of. I don't want to say frequently. I've actually stopped. I've got. I think. There, yeah, oh. I was going to say. I think I have another set of tomahawks here on my desk. Oh. I do. I have that. Like, you're all fancy tomahawks on my desk here. Oh, geez. Set them up in the crazy. office. Hmm? Set them up in the office. I think I could. You could. And then, like, you just see, like, an axe go, <laughs> like, what was that? Yeah. Like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Like, right there. I'm testing. Yeah. Sorry. Those were some pretty solid sound effects, I think. So, yeah. anyhow, these. Similar to the ones from SOG, they're very thin. It's like they cut them out of a sheet, like probably laser cut them or something. Just put a little edge on them. And yep. But these have like a little rubber slide-on thing here. And then the ones I had before, the SOG, similar. These seem to be uh, like press cut out, I think. Um, but similar out of, a, out of like sheet metal that then they put a little edge on it but these have a paracord handle the sog and it can come untied like this one is untied or if it hits <laughs> wrong it can get uh it get a cut in it like this one has got the white inner cord showing so this other set this viking culture actually has a rubber handle that's grippy and it doesn't come untied and whatnot and these throw really well. So these were on Amazon. There's a link in the description of the video if anyone wants to go check them out. Um, I think they're like 10 bucks a piece, like 30 bucks for the set, maybe. Um, I think. I'm not positive. You know, I've got a I've got a set of throwing knives mm -hmm. that uh, and I need to get more into the throwing stuff. I've got a big big piece of a stump out on my range specifically yeah. for you got all kinds of land stuff. out there. He yeah. throws his weight around all the time. Uh, yeah, we, we cut down a big tree, and there was a, I mean, it took a tractor to, and three people to move it around. But I was like, holy crap, what are you going to do with that? They're like, oh, we're going to push it in the hole and burn it. And I said, no, you're not. You're going to put that out on the range. That'd be perfect for throwing stuff we're at. Gonna shoot that thing. And uh, so anyway, mm -hmm. um, but no, I had a set of, like you're talking about, of knives with the paracord handles. Yep. And that was the first thing to go. Was the, you, yep. couldn't, you can't keep paracord on them. Yep. Yeah. Well, and it slides around too. Like you throw a couple times and the paracord will start to spread apart and want to come off the bottom. And so I really like when I open these up and I was like, ooh, that's got like rubber grippiness on it. When we go I said, you when, know when I, I go axe throw, they're actually yeah, they're but, actually wooden handle axes when I throw. So yeah. yeah, so here's my thing with it being grippy. Uh and I'm by no means an expert of, of throwing stuff, but Everything I've listened to read is like you kind of let it fly out of your hand, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's kind of a finesse thing. The, wouldn't the grippy part of it sort of impede that a little bit? Maybe. It's not super grippy. It's not like Hogue pistol grip. Gotcha. Grippy. It's not tacky it, then. Grippy. It, yeah, it's not a tacky grippy. It's kind of a, I think it is rubber, not like hard plastic, but it's right on that borderline. It's not, it's not a tacky rubber. Um, anyhow, they throw really nice. I like them. Um, so I, I'm pretty stoked. If you can dodge a up. tomahawk, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> yeah. I, I was stoked when these popped up on, on vine. I was like, oh yeah, I'm getting more hawks. So kids uh, are going to be like ducking. Like when they walk, walk by the office, like, oh crap. Pretty much. Well, I've got a target in the backyard. It's actually Jose Juan's target. Um, but he left it here and he hadn't come back to get it. So I keep throwing stuff at it. So he gets. Yep. Well, that's why he put it here. Um, maybe when I give it back to him, I'll give him one of these sets of tomahawks. <laughs> Let's see. I can say that when he's not here because then it's like, eh, I'm not committed. Because um, I said maybe. So anyhow, that's coming. It, it appears we're going to have uh, a Mantis review on the way soon. That's I'm excited. Yeah, I got um, mine going as well on the Blackbeard. Well, yeah, pretty cool product. I, I'm a big fan of their stuff. So I love it. I, I just got to, uh, it's just, you know, takes a lot of shooting around the house. I get distracted mm -hmm. with Crystal running around all the time. 
Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not even going to comment on that. You, so, yeah, you know how it is over the house. Other other stuff that I have that came in. This is something that I think is really neat that everyone will be interested in. That I suspect there are things like this for other things. I don't know. I see it a lot for guitar stuff. I have got three different types of posters, three or four types of posters. One and then one that rolls up and you it's like a pop-up poster. Like you can roll it up like a, like an old window shade and take it with you. And when you get where you're going, you pull it out and put a little post in it to hold it up. And then this is like a heavy cardboard type card that it's just reference material. And I'm thinking like, I haven't looked to see, are there gun safety or gun cleaning or, um, you know, you see the, um, the circle charts for like uh, shooting a pistol. And if you hit this quadrant, you're pulling this way. If you're hit, if you hit yep. that quadrant, you're pushing with your finger, whatever. Um, I wonder if there are things like that, that are of a durable material. Cause that's really the difference. This is like an eight and a half by 11, which is similar to, you know, you could print it on a sheet of paper, but it's like, it's got some rigidity to it. Like I was playing today and had this sitting leaned up against the amp in front of me as a reference right there because it's not a flimsy piece of paper. It's like waterproof. And uh, so anyhow, really, really cool. This type of thing I'm finding reference material, the posters on the wall are either plastic or cloth. So they're more durable. Um, and I'm betting that they have reference material for, for different shooting things. It'd be neat to see something like that for like reloading as well. Some of your oh, basic. That would, be, that would be epic. There you go. Trajectories of different, uh, you know, different grains. Mm. There is, uh, there's definitely uh, reloading, all kinds of reloading charts and posters yeah. and things like that. Mats, cleaning, even cleaning style mats, loading mats, and different things. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. So another thing I have on the way. I kind of previewed this earlier. Oh, look at that! You, I saw you that. Got a, you got a kick out of this, uh, TJ. Um, before you showed up, I started the show i did the countdown i did the intro video and i did the normal hey welcome to this week of gear report about two and a half minutes in i'm like why is the counter that says live why don't i see it up there in the in the top and i'd already gotten to where i was going through put comments on the screen and like talking to people <laughs> and we're not live so i had to go start the counter again, play the video again, start the whole thing. Oh, over. Geez. But I was, I was talking about this the first time when that, when that, uh, when I realized it wasn't live. So this one, uh, TJ actually arranged this and sent it up. Yeah. From uh, primary arms. From primary arms. And it's their reticle. Is that correct? The ACSS is their reticle design. So is this like a, something they did with, uh, with hollow sun apparently? Yeah. And I hope it, I hope it works for what you got. So. Yeah, I hope so. And I don't want to risk taking it out of the box to make sure it's going to. Part of the out. test was I didn't put any packing in the box it was in. So it rattled around from Florida to North Carolina. So that was, that was part of the testing. Yeah. Uh, Esteban said when he opened it, it, uh, it looked pretty good. Like it wasn't too beat up or anything. I, put, so I was like, good. I was like, I'm putting Esteban on this. Cause he put sexy Steve on all my crap. Yeah, and uh, Esteban is one of my aliases that I go by. Mm -hmm. uh, mainly when I'm around women at trade shows, I I have an alter it ego. Sounds, it sounds it sounds Estebanish. It it does sound Estebanish. Yeah, so um, it's a solar powered little like micro red dot. It's mm -hmm. the Hollow Sun HS five hundred seven C X two. ACSS. So I'm, I'm pretty stoked about it. And uh, I think this is one that we looked at um, at the primary arms booth at the Iraq veteran show, because I remember if you hold it out at arm's length, you just get the dot kind of in the center. Yep. If you pull it in a little, it's the, the big circle. Yeah. It's a big yep. circle to help you find your, yeah, um, so that, uh, that, 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 that's what drew me to him at, at Houston. I was like, man, that's awesome. Yeah. Like if you're the right length, you're like, oh, this is a big circle. Perfect. I'm, I'm, I'm close. Yeah, right. 
because because that's the problem I have with pistol dots is I can't I like if I can find the dot then I'm in good shape but I gotta find the stupid thing and uh, all right I'm gonna do this slightly off camera because I'm I'm so curious I'm oh, pull this little um, yeah it's right below here I can't so, see it I can't show you what I'm getting out of this box but uh, let's set it on here. Yeah, it looks a little wide. It is definitely wider than the body of the slide. Uh, but and that's what I say because most of them, you know, a lot of the reticles I look are wider. I mean, because I got a Romeo Zero at the house, and that thing's that thing's so small that it's like, I mean, I can't find the dot on half the time. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look at it compared we'll to see. like the J point to see. You know, yeah. size wise, J Point's been around for years, but uh, I have to check that out. What's up, Anyhow, we'll think, you know, take a look at it and see if, if we've got to uh, get a, a plate for it or something, and we'll, we'll go from there. Yep. But I got and there's, a, there's a whole bag full of adapter plates so in here that came from Taurus. So there is mm -hmm. likely. It's likely something that'll work. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna try to get on that here shortly. I may, I may have some time to do that tomorrow. Actually, well, same with I got the uh, the Taurus Combat, the Combat, the TPX twenty two. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, the, I mean, the competition that thing had a bunch of base to it too. The, the but TX I put that, I put that little on it. Yeah, I'm not bitter that you got that. But you know what? I'm I'm actually going to get to do some. Uh, 22 shooting here shortly. I'm not. Uh, if uh, man, I don't, I don't know that anyone here actually would remember Chris. Um, years ago, one of the first gun writers to do some stuff and to go to events with Gear Report, uh, Chris Brokes at Three Pillars Shooting. No. Uh, he came to my scout meeting last night, it's and my sea scouts. What's that? That's pre TJ. Pre TJ. Yep. Yeah. It was uh it, it was in the uh Jose Juan sidekick era. Okay. Um just before me. Yeah. So uh but Chris went he went to the 2016 NRA show with Gear Report and uh really really uh contributed quite a bit and he did a few reviews as well. Um, he's an NRA instructor and, and does a lot of scout shooting, shooting sports programs. And um, so he taught a firearm safety course for my Sea Scouts last night at the meeting. Nice. And then he's setting up a range day for us at the like right after Thanksgiving. I think we're going to do that. And uh, we're going to shoot a whole bunch of 22 stuff mainly, I think. Um, but the Sea Scouts are a little bit older than like a regular scout troop generally. So we get to do more fun stuff. The rules are a little bit different and we'll, yeah. we'll do a lot of, we'll do pistol shooting. We'll do rifles. We'll do some tactical drills. Um, yeah. I'm not sure what all we're going to do. We hadn't, we hadn't sorted all that out yet, but, but I'm excited, but uh, we'll, we'll take nothing but 22s, but I'll take a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> Just because, um, like I've specifically told everyone, don't bring anything. It's just whatever whatever the instructors bring, that's what we're going to use for this time. We can move up to doing some other stuff later. But for now, we're going to keep it simple and only use what the instructors bring. But then once we're done and they leave, I'm going to pull my stuff out. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to do... Because like any, any rules on what I can't bring? And he's like, no... You d just don't bring anything over like 50 cal and uh, be like, I don't know and, what's over 50 cal, but I, I can't yeah. get it. I'm throwing it out there. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, well, and I said, well, what do you, I should probably leave my full auto stuff at home. Right. Like, yeah, leave, leave that in the safe at quarter horse arms. Don't even. Boo. Yeah. Eh, it's all right. You get 300 blackout. You got all, I mean, all kinds of stuff I can shoot. They'll have fun with. If I if I had a full auto twenty two, that would be fun. I don't I don't that really want to fun. shoot any full auto. Like I I need to work on my M sixteen and my AK, um, and I'm not motivated because I don't want to shoot them full auto right now anyway because ammo is so hard to get. 
or expensive at least. It's exact opposite op optic he's been wanting for a VP9. Cool. Keep waiting to see a good sale. I got a really good price on this one. So it was yeah, good. So I'm pretty happy. Yeah. So I, have After VP, the... I have a VP9 that's waiting for an optic, but I was like, eh, we're good. Oh. After the That's Esteban the reveal, yeah. I've got to mm -hmm. ask, have yeah. you ever reviewed an Esteban guitar? No. Oh, well. Ooh. Well. I may have to look that up. Well. There you go. There's a guitar named after you, Jeff. Yeah, it is. <laughs> or your alter ego named after you. Oh, they're classical guitars. It looks like there is someone named Esteban. Who yeah, plays he has a whole here. he has a whole like class teaching system or whatever. How like how to play the guitar yeah. thing. Yeah, and sword fight apparently because he looks like Zorro. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, he does. Yeah. All right. Where's the Where's the window? I got to go show this now, just because it's kind of excited now. I want to see. This is yeah, Esteban. Don't get, don't get that excited, but. No. Uh, it, it's really not that interesting, but uh, let's go to images. He's got like super long fingernails. The time I've times I've seen him, it's like crazy long fingernails. Yeah, I don't. Who needs, who needs guitar picks? You got okay. built right. in. It says he's a virtuoso. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, I went off that screen, didn't I? What are you doing? I opened another window and it went off the screen. So, all right, we're going to close that. All right. I'll close that go. one. You need okay. a hat. You need a hat like that, though, if you get the guitar. You have to have both. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think I need hat. a hat anyway. And I uh, see, I kind of branded myself with the visor. And uh, the visor is yes. disgusting. It's been worn for yes. so many years in so many places. That it's like you touch it and your hands are it's not greasy or oily, it's more of a just well, I figured yeah. it out. I figured it out, Jeff. If you've ever seen, I, I've had a, 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 a long time ago, I bought a wax coated jacket mm -hmm. for hunting, and that's what it's for. It's like it's like wax coated, water runs off it, yep. and, and that's what it feels like. I was like, oh, yeah, you're right, that's exactly what that visor. Mm -hmm. That used to be black. It was completely black when I got it. And now it's like, uh, I don't even know what color it is. It's not a color. It's like a combination of nasty and weird color. Ten years of dead skin cells and oil. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is he, dude? We don't know, Gary. I, I don't even know. what. Listen, this Gary, is. we don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like Dad just showed up and called us out, you know? Yeah, I know. All right. We're giving trouble. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm excited. I get to see everybody like tomorrow and Saturday. It's going to be yeah. a good day. Yeah. All I'm saying is the snob crew better have um, some sort of TJ banners <laughs> when you show up. Yeah. I, 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 that's what I'm looking for at the airport when I get off. Like, where's the TJ? Yeah. I'll get off my, like some random Uber driver or something. So like 40 minutes ago or more in the show, my main computer over that way started making weird noises. And I look over, I'm like, oh, it's installing a update of some sort. Well, now it's over there making weird sounds. It's, it's okay. They're just setting up tracking stuff for everything you do. Making Sorry. weird sounds yeah. is typically not the problem that I've found. It's when it stops. Um... Well, it's not mechanical sounds. Ah. It's through the speakers. Just weird rhythmic. Meh, meh, meh. I, people, I would have people come in and like, what's going on? It's like, well, you know, for the longest time, it made this god awful noise. Rah, rah, rah. And then, uh, you know, it, it the noise stopped. The noise went away. But a few days later, it quit working. I'm like, no kidding. Yeah, it's like, yeah. duh, your fan was going out and it finally did go out and you burnt everything up. Congratulations. Yep. New Would you like to see some new computers here? <laughs> yep, I hear you. That's the way it works. That's All on my right. list. I got to build, build a new desktop. I'm the, the laptop just can't handle everything I've got. 
you've been telling me for a year and a half that you're going to do a new desktop. Well, it's funny because, uh, you know, Keith uh, Taylor's boyfriend was like, I'll build you one. I'm like, all right. And he never did it, huh? No. You know, some of the things you told me about Keith, I was like, really? And other things I was like, oh, he sounds like he's okay. He's okay. He's a little bitch right now. He's a good kid. I got to, yeah. uh, I just got to let him know what I need. I need, you know, like, listen, I need, uh, I need to be able to do videos mm-hmm. and this stuff. All right. Well, that, that's him. it. I need like yep. eight HDMI imports for the speaker, the camera, the lights, you know, everything else. That's all, all I need. your USB stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like I've got, the, I've got two splitters over here running everything. Yeah. Cause I've only got one that works. Hey, if it works, you know, if, if you can make well, that setup well, work, then why well, when we started this, I used to have two that work. Now I'm down to one. <laughs> I've got a splitter into a splitter. Yeah. If I get blotchy, that's what happens. That sounds legit to me. It's, I mean, yeah. Hey, that's, if that's, if they didn't want you to be able to split it, they wouldn't yeah. make the splitter. They wouldn't right? make everything fit that way, right? Exactly. Right. right. It's the uh, the Christmas vacation of uh, extension cords, but with HTML. Right. Right. Yeah. Trying to decide what I want to show people today because I haven't done any of the recent guitar purchases. Um, trying to think, how many have I bought? I, I don't want to know. I think, did I only buy six since the last show? I think I bought six since the last show. But it's been seven days. That's not even one per day. No, just um, under. But one hasn't, probably one got tied up in uh, transit. So you, you really probably have bought one per day. I don't think I have any that I'm waiting on right now. But I've made up for the lack of volume by going for a lot of the Ooh. the brandy stuff, you know. I, I've, I've been doing a lot of cheap guitars, and this isn't like a super expensive version. But you know, you you don't buy anything that says Gibson on it that's cheap. You know, right. it's all a little pricey. So, so I got two. Did I get two Gibsons? I think I got two Gibsons in the last week. Depends if it's Gibson with an O or Gibson with an I, N A. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're, they're all kind of do. jokes. I started, Some, a, started a guitar company with Gibson. I'm like, okay, Gibson. Yeah. Some of the uh, some some of the best memes out there are the they call it Chibson. It's uh, the Chinese Gibson, and yep. uh, there, there are some really funny ones out there. This one they call the Melody Maker. And it's uh, it's just got one little pickup and a volume control, and it's just made for you know really uh, nasty you know hardcore rock stuff. I oh, think yeah. basically I'm talking about which I don't really play that much. But this is part of something I'm doing is I'm stocking up the uh, Gear Report demo demo shop store on Reverb. Um, for the holidays because uh you know there's supply issues and i expect that yep. there are going to be people looking for stuff so like, i'm like, like you know food. what i uh oh i should probably do that kind of stuff too but i'm i'm <laughs> trying to pick up stuff to make available on the store and the problem is i'll get stuff specifically to sell and then i'm like oh but i like it what am i going to do like this one this was I think this is the most expensive one I bought. It's a 1989 uh, Fender Stratocaster Plus, they call it. And it's got I graduated a high bunch, school. It's got a bunch of different uh, upgrades built into it. It's like not crazy, you know, $5,000. But, you know, I, I have this. If you want to buy it, it's on Reverb right now for $2,100. Um, so I've been, you know trying to get money out of the bank where inflation will be a problem and put it into physical assets that I can sell to people. Yep. So anyhow, this one, I, I love this one. Like, I don't want to get rid of it, but that's that's what happens. You get hooked on them and you're like, this thing's awesome. This thing's awesome. This thing's awesome. But so what I do is I buy them when I can get them cheap enough, I buy them and then I mark them up to, you can tell if you look at the prices and see how much more than you're expecting it to be, it is. That tells you how much I don't want to sell it yet. 
like this one i want to play with for a while i want to shoot so i want to get to the point where i can actually record some stuff with it like shoot a video yeah. and then i can get rid of it so until then i'm just going to leave it up like a little more expensive than it should be and if someone buys it you know what i'll go find another one that's fine they can have it You'd be if they want to pay that much if they want it that much more than me they can have it you'll be heartbroken damn it i don't yeah. want to sell it well i'm going to go get another one on monday it's the same model just a different color so <laughs> then i'll be able to sell one without being too right like all right but i'm That's finding funny. this this is kind of the strategic thing that i'm doing as i'm playing with getting more expensive stuff because you make more money but the risk is bigger i've got more more money tied up in it so We'll That's see how this it. works. It That's may not good at the casino when I get there on Friday. Oh my goodness. I didn't need to hear that. But Mama Son will be there with you. So you're her problem or she's your problem. Whichever. She's my problem. She's always yeah. my problem. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no. I'm just going to give her, I'm going to give her like a, a hundo and be like, all right, here you go. Bye. Yep. Leave me alone. Yeah. And then when she comes back two minutes later, <laughs> she does. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's funny because she does, before. she does decent. Cause she, she doesn't bet big mm. and I'm more, I'm more opposite. Like, I'm like, yeah, let's go. Let's go bigger, go home. And it can, I mean, sometimes it pays off a lot and sometimes I'm like, yeah, all right, I'm done. Yeah. If you go Going too big, you may not make it home. No, no, no. I've got plenty set aside for that. I'm good. <laughs> I've, 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 I've gambled enough to where I know I have enough set aside in the bank and everything where else to where I'm like, all right, I can make it home. I could eat like a, a king and drink like a king. I'm good to go. But if I win big, we're all going to eat like kings. It's going to be awesome. Nice. Steaks all around. Yeah, you, you're not supposed to say that till after you win the money. Uh, I said if I win big. If I, oh, if I win, I'm getting everybody steaks. I'd rather have well, guns all the way around. Well, <laughs> I'll do that if they're reasonable. We'll see. I don't remember. I don't remember if I shared this one or not. Ugh. I hooked a cable. Oh. Dang it. They all look the same to me. I got stuff falling down around my feet. This you one I wanted, I wanted to show this one because this was, uh, I saved this. I got this a few weeks ago. It's a Japanese like rock guitar from the mid eighties. I, uh, I have not seen at like, I've been looking and I can't find hardly any information on this specific model. I think that very few of them actually made it to the States and it didn't have the dice. Those are like real dice on there. The knobs uh, that someone drilled and put set screws in and turned them into knobs. But this thing was a train wreck. It was completely unplayable. The bridge down here was just broken. Like when I took the screws out, it literally fell apart in my hands. And now it actually plays really nice. It sounds awesome. It's got like circuit boards built into the pickups, which is really weird. So it does uh, different sounds. You pull the these switches out and not just turn them and they do different things. So this one i'm like really pleased this has been a super fun project um and since it's so so unique i'm hoping that uh i have it priced a little bit on the aggressive side hoping that someone will be like yeah that's neat i want that and if they don't then great i'll just keep it because i like it there you go but but eventually i have to sell something so we'll see um, let's see. Anything else you wanted to talk about, uh, TJ? No, I'm just, I'm really excited about going heading over to Watermakers this weekend. I'm a, have you been to Oklahoma? Forward. Forward. I wanted to go last last uh, April or whatever, and, what, and I was like, yeah, it just didn't work out with work and stuff. And now I'm like, eh, you know, I don't care anymore. I'll just zip <laughs> over. Right. But the, the, the tickets are cheap enough. I mean, for me and Crystal both, it's like two two fifty, two sixty. Right. Round trip. So, have you ever been to Oklahoma? I haven't. Crystal has. Oh, you say you haven't? I haven't. Okay. You were in for a treat. Oklahoma is like a different world. I know. 
Yeah. That's what I'm saying. A different like. world where good Mexican food does not exist. <laughs> well, it's funny. I don't eat. Me- I don't eat Mexican food here, so it's fine. Yeah, I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of Mexican food. I want. Uh, I mean, if I want spicy stuff, give me a, a spicy salsa. Hmm. So, but yeah, no, I haven't. I haven't been. I want to. I want to try some of the food and see what's going on out there. And you know, we'll see Monty and Crystal, and you know, we'll see the the whole gang as they're going to be out there. So, C4, Obnoxious, I guess, Snob and Clover and Ghost, everybody's going to be there. Well, all right. Well, so have fun. Stay out of trouble, or stay in trouble. I don't care. You're you're a big oh, boy. You do whatever me. you want. Well, yeah, that's why I said it. Big we're going to see who's going to be. Right we're going to see who's going to be drag on Saturday morning. That's all I know. Who's going to be in drag on Saturday morning? <laughs> well, that'd be snob. But who's oh, going to be right. dragging ass on Saturday morning? Yeah, I got you. Um. Well, I don't think some of them have trained the way you have, so they're yeah. at a distinct disadvantage. I think people do. Yeah. Yeah, everyone says they want to party like rock stars. How many people actually prep for it? Very few. Right. Very few. They're just not willing to put the training Shout, yet. Shout Show's looking better and better, Jeff, so I don't know. You might have to uh, start picking up, picking up your pace. I'm absolutely baffled that it looks like Shot Show could happen. <laughs> So, so uh, I heard from somebody on the ground, Jeff. I'm mm-hmm. glad that I'm glad that came come up from somebody on the ground in Vegas that said the the mask thing. Um, and I don't I don't know for sure. I was supposed to hear from NSSF this weekend. I hadn't. Uh, but anyway, they say that n- absolutely none of that is being enforced. Nobody's doing it. Blah 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 blah. Even at other shows that's went on there and other stuff. All right. Yeah. They they say it's that that you know you're supposed to, but they're like it, it's, it's not happening. But so right, so you probably saw the same thread that I did in one of the Facebook discussion groups. The that that changes like this group. I, are you are you in that group? The one that changes um, for each event, like when hey, after man. after NRA, it, it's the NRA. 2022 group and then after that show it changes to the shot show whatever the next event is that's what they change the name of the group to you know yeah. cool people at whatever event and um and someone in there that, that lives in vegas goes to a bunch of shows was saying just that mm-hmm. but it it uh, comes down to it, there there was also some discussion that it comes down to um how how the enforcement works is they just find the people who are putting the shows on so it may be absolutely fine but then if some liberal politician says i want to mess with the gun people and goes to the nssf and says either you enforce this or it's ten thousand dollars per day per person who violates it Uh, and they're going to have to tell everyone they have to wear this but I heard that, you know, I heard the same thing, that a lot of the big shows, they're not doing it. I just, as long as the rule is there, they have the right. opportunity to decide they're going to enforce it. And I I just, I know me. If that happens, then I'm going to start some shit. And right. I don't need to get arrested. No. I don't need to get banned. And, but I am so, so thoroughly done with all of this that, and plus, I think it shows kind of a lack of integrity. You know, it's one of these, if you're going to have a rule, enforce it. If you're not willing to enforce it, take the rule away because it's fake. You're just doing it to win brownie points so you can tell people you have the rule. Right. So we're so effectively, we're just pawns in that game of, you know, oh, yeah, Joe, we have all these rules preventing people from doing stuff, but which, then people which, do whatever they want. You know what? Which is disturbing, I mean, because they have, you know, like, to- they have all these rules in place now, but, I mean, you look at Florida where, you know, our, our cases are down so bad and we don't do anything. Right. And there's no masking. There's no nothing, you know. And I'm sure Oklahoma and I'm sure Texas are down too. I mean, you know, it's like, listen, just, just let us do the shows. It'll be fine. Yeah, you know, nothing is going to happen. There's, there's not going to be a spike. There's not going to be anything. Well, there may be, but th- it's a virus. I mean, 
that's what viruses do. They spread when they have opportunities. Yeah, but I mean, the I mean, more we slow like, the spread, the less people actively right. have antibodies and immunity, the more likely it's going to spread. Yeah, I get in discussions with my friend. I'm like, listen, I was like, you, you look at the numbers. I was like, how many how many people out there have never been tested, who have already had it, who aren't worried about it? Like, you know, like me, I, I've never been tested. You know, I mean, half the people I know haven't been tested, but they've had it. You know, they're not worried about it. Florida's just the same way. You know, it's it's, it's like that everywhere else. There's, there's probably half the population hasn't been tested. They've already had it. They're 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 not going to worry about it or get a get a vaccine. So it's like, well, just just let it go, see what happens. Yep. Yeah, as as baffled as I am, you know, I I do get that there is the distinct possibility that the that it could actually happen. Yeah, that's. Um, I mean, I, I hope I hope not. I hope they just go like, yeah, you know, it's a big show, gun community, let them go. Yeah, I uh and and I should I should be excited about it and everything, but I mean honestly, I'm like Yeah. It, <laughs> I shot shot is exciting the first time you go and it becomes more of a pain in the ass every additional time you go and less less fun and <laughs> I'm kind of at a point of with it kind of hanging over that they could choose to, or could, could be forced to uh, enforce some, some of those rules. Uh, I I'm still kind of reticent to spend any money or book anything, but I think I'm, I'm going yeah. to hit till after Thanksgiving and then I'm going to, I think at that point it's okay. All right. Yeah. Gonna, Which is just a couple of weeks. So, so I think right. at the end of the month, we're going to have to sit down and go, all yeah. right, where, where is it? And figure out what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. But all right. until then I got water makers. That's right. Yep. No, I don't like yeah. Mexican food. I I have trouble I have trouble trusting anyone who doesn't like Mexican food. I don't like Mexican food. Sorry. Oh. I like salsa. I like queso. Those are those are. There you go. That's the Mexican food. I just don't. Uh, I mean, it's not. I, I mean, I've had great Mexican food, and I'm like, eh. Sorry. Yeah. All right, uh, Clover. Anything you want to talk about before we wrap it up? Nope, not one bit. All right, uh, last call. If there's anything you want to talk about in the chat, you better put it in there quick because we're gonna get, we're gonna shut it down. Did you get that yet, Do what? Did you get that sidekick yet? I haven't yet, dude. You've right. met Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> he was Jeff, here a little while ago. Jeff has dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> there he is right there. <laughs> <laughs> that was great timing. <laughs> perfect. It was perfect. That was, that was good. All right. I think uh, we forgot to change it over or it got changed back. So we, we've been in shit shooting for a while. We'll just go ahead and wipe it. It's all shit shooting out. to me. Uh, safe travels, everyone. I really appreciate everyone being here and sharing the uh, hour and 34 and a half minutes at this point. You're never Whoa. getting that time back. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know what people do here either. <laughs> yep. Yep. Now watch. He's going to say Clover's the sidekick. And then we're going to have, you know, drama. Ugh. I, I don't know who's the sidekick. I'm just, who isn't anymore. I'm just here to drink beer. I'm allowed to drink beer, so I'm excited. Oh, yeah. wait. Oh, wait. All right. I'm empty. Never mind. All right. Well, th that, that I think means it's probably time to <laughs> shut it down. So, so thanks everyone for being here. Really appreciate it. Check back next week and watch over the weekend. Check all the different channels. So you've seen in the chat, if you paid attention to the show, uh, TJ Clover, um, snob, is Gary going to be there? 
Jerry's going to be there. Oh, Gary's going to be there. Obnoxious is going to be there, I think. Sarge is going to be there. Ghost is going to be there. I think everybody's there. There are going to be a lot of channels for you to watch to see updates from the Wanamaker Gun Show in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, there we go. I, so go ahead, check those out, and uh, and then you'll be ahead of the game when we reconvene next week to do the rundown and hear how it went and if TJ survived uh, this, this survive. uh, no decision to take the better half to an industry. Well, this isn't really an industry event, but it's still kind of like a, a, an industry trip. So I just hope know. she finds – or she doesn't find anything she likes. That's my that's my biggest fear. Mm, like is, is, she, is, is she'll come on like oh, come yeah. here. I found this. I'll be like no. Well, Esteban won't be there, so you don't have to worry about that. I know. Yeah, but I have to just <laughs> Irish coffee. Off. All right. Well, with that, I'm going to navigate back to the thing where I do the outro. There you um, go. I like it. So until next time. We'll see you at the range.